So I was debating on doing this video about Tana Mojo, but the more I think about it, I have some, some thoughts and some opinions on this that I definitely want to discuss with all of you and to have you guys take into consideration. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at the YouTube community, what's going on, and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And by the way, by the way, the podcast is officially up over on Spotify. So make sure you go check it out, go follow it over there. There are five episodes up now, so go check it out. People have been asking me for a podcast for like a year now and I'm finally doing it. Right now I'm in like this hustle mode. I wanna build up a back catalog because I know like when I find something new that I'm into, I like to like binge. So I'm trying to get some content up there for you guys to all listen to. So I've talked about a variety of different subjects and everything, but anyways, go follow it over on Spotify and stay tuned to other updates by following me on social media at The Rewired Soul on Instagram and on Twitter. All right, so anyways, uh, yeah, like, in this video, we're gonna be talking about Tana Mojo announcing that she is going back to VidCon, she is finally a featured creator and everything like that, and although I'm gonna be talking about my thoughts and opinions on this, like, something I, I always try to do with my channel is, like, think how this applies to your own life. So, the overall subjects that I want you guys to think about are, you know, forgiveness, earning forgiveness, redemption, and things like that, all right? But for the context of this, we're going to be using Tana Mojo announcing that she is returning to VidCon, all right? So before I get started, and I will come back to this topic, like for those of you who are new here, here at The Rewired Soul, we are all about forgiveness. We are all about forgiveness, baby girl. Like I truly believe in forgiveness. Um, I would not be where I am today had people not forgiven me. Um, it has taken a lot of work on my part. Uh, and for those of you who don't know me, I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic coming up on seven years sober. So for almost a decade, I was a terrible, awful human being, and I've had to work really hard to earn forgiveness. And hell, if I'm being honest, some people still haven't forgiven me. But for the most part, I have my son back in my life. I have my family back in my life. My son's mother and I, we have an amazing relationship. You know, um, society has forgiven me. <laughs> like, but anyways, I wanna talk about, you know, Tana Mojo announcing that she's returning to VidCon. One of the main reasons I wanted to make this video is because of this clip right here. All I ever wanted was to be a featured creator at VidCon, was to be accepted in this space that I so badly wanted to be accepted in, you know? Just because I threw this fucking convention doesn't mean I still wasn't deep down longing for that same acceptance and validation that I always was. If anything, I threw the convention because of that, you know? Now, in my personal opinion, when I heard that, I was like, that's kind of a dick thing to say, all right? And here's why, here's why. Like, I'm glad like Tana Mojo is getting what she finally wanted, but when I hear that, like something I, I talk about a lot is, as human beings, we are selfish and self-centered by nature. And TanaCon was an event that affected literally thousands of people, okay? It didn't affect a few people. It affected thousands of people. It was an event that Tana Mojo put on that failed miserably, and it was completely created out of spite. All right, so when I heard her saying, you know, this is all I ever wanted, like, all I could think was, yeah, and all it took was negatively affecting thousands of people. You know what I mean? And it's something that she hasn't talked about in a long time and everything like that, like, it's, it's rough. Like, I do believe that it's important for people to move on and, you know, not keep dwelling on their screw-ups, but there's a balance that comes with it for a few reasons. One of them is, is that when we act like things never happened, like, are, are, we, just, are we just sweeping it under the rug? You know what I mean? Like, I don't think every video Tana should have made for the past year should be about VidCon and how sorry she is, or, or I mean, uh, TanaCon and how sorry she is, and everything like that. I don't think that, right? But it's important to 
never forget about it and learn and grow. And I've, I've argued on the side of Tana in previous videos, like one would say that she has learned and grown because she's not throwing another TanaCon, you know, a poorly ran event. But when, again, when I hear her say that, I'm like, ah, like, yeah, you got what you wanted, but at what cost? Now, I am glad that VidCon forgave TanaMojo. Like, that shows a lot on their part. And this is huge because TanaMojo did some messed up stuff. Like, for any of you who are following the TanaCon story, like, when it was going down, like, I, uh, I was actually in um, Southern California with my beautiful girlfriend, my son, we were visiting one of my best friends. We went down there during the weekend of VidCon and TanaCon, but instead of going to either of those events, like, we went to Corgi Beach Day and it was lit, son. But anyways, we were watching all this stuff go down. We were watching all the videos popping up about what was going on, everything going on Twitter and everything. And during that time, Tana was being sp uh, fed a bunch of false information, which she was then spreading. And one of the ones that was pretty brutal towards VidCon was, Tana was spreading the narrative with no evidence of this. She was spreading the narrative that VidCon was kicking out attendees who were also attending TanaCon. She helped perpetuate that narrative, which is somewhat slanderous to VidCon. You see what I mean? And she had no evidence of that. So it is awesome that VidCon has kind of forgiven her for all of that, all right? But here's the thing, at the end of the day, it makes sense for VidCon to forgive Tana. Like, that is, an, whoever's running their PR team and everything like that, like, kudos to you. Like, that's an epic move. But not only on a PR standpoint, like, we, we have to appreciate any company, business, organization that listens to people and tries to make things better, all right? Tana Mojo did have legit concerns, and obviously a lot of people agreed with her, um, about the way VidCon was run, okay? So them doing this, like not only did it help them on a public relations standpoint, but it also shows that they are listening and they wanna make improvements and change things, and because it is pretty much the biggest YouTube conference in the world. But then I heard this clip. I didn't ever think after the things that happened with TanaCon that VidCon would ever be open to a conversation. And I am so grateful for that. You know, like pain and anger and frustration and hurt and shit that I wanted to talk about, but I felt like I had done something so wrong that it, things could never be mended, you know? Like why would they even want to talk to me? When I heard that, all I could think was like, well no shit. They're adults, you know what I mean? Like, this is the way adults conduct business. And it's something that I, I've been touching on a little bit, just seeing a bunch of, you know, YouTubers who are younger and everything like that. And it's a bunch of people who are very young, getting a lot of uh, uh, celebrity, they're getting a lot of money, they're getting a lot of resources at a very young age, and they don't necessarily know how to do the adulting thing. Like. When it comes to VidCon, like, it makes sense that they had to sit down with Tana Mojo and everything like that. Like, that makes sense from a business standpoint. Now, again, circling back, forgiveness is extremely important. It is extremely important. Like, something I always try to teach people is something that I learned, where forgiveness isn't letting somebody else off the hook. Forgiveness is letting you off the hook. Like, holding a grudge, holding a resentment towards somebody is not doing you any favors, all right? They say that resentment is like drinking poison, hoping the other person dies. But from kind of like a community standpoint, um, my question is, has Tana Mojo earned forgiveness, okay? Because when I saw this situation, it was screwed up from the start. Not only was it created out of spite, out of vengeance, to try to get back at VidCon, like it was scheduled at the same time, it was scheduled in the same area, and everything like that. Like, I think, I think thousands of people are being forgotten. So, Michael Weist, the dude from Good Times, and Tana Mojo, they were trying to dish out uh, or, or give back like refunds and everything, which Tana was minimally involved in. And if any of you watched her docu-series with Shane Dawson, like when this first happened, there was a lot of talk, but no action, okay? Because when I think about this, there were, there were so many people who literally flew from different parts of the world to attend TanaCon, okay? Like, if we look at this with how much money was spent for the attendees of TanaCon, even if they got free passes or if they bought passes, like, we can't forget, there were flights, 
there were hotels, there were Ubers or taxi rides, there was food. There was so much money that was spent to go to an event that was then canceled, all right? And when, again, when she first did the docu-series with Shane Dawson, and even Shane Dawson was trying to help out, and they're like, we're gonna make it up to you. Like, I remember, I remember Tana Mojo talking about like doing a free tour and everything like that and figuring out a way to reimburse people and all of that. And you guys, none of that ever happened. Like none of it happened at all. So kind of like what I titled this video, like I don't, I don't like saying this, but it must be nice to be Tana Mojo. You know what I mean? Like, like, wow, like it must be nice. Like, I want you guys to think about this for a second. How many other creators do you think could get away with this? Here, play, play along with this thought experiment for me. If, let's say if Philip DeFranco, if Philip DeFranco did this exact same thing, if he created an event out of spite, out of vengeance, People came in from all over the world, creators signed up to be there, all sorts of things, right? And it just flopped. Would somebody like Philip DeFranco get the same pass as Tana Mojo has? Like, Tana Mojo barely experienced a dent in her brand or anything like that because her brand is one of being wild and crazy and screwing up and everything like that, and it's like, I don't know, like, I'm a, I'm a little envious. You know what I mean? And again, the purpose of this video is not to say don't forgive Tana or Tana doesn't deserve to be at VidCon. I think it's all cool, it's all great. But what I want you guys to take from this is like, what, what do you look for when it comes to forgiving somebody in your life and giving them another chance? Like, because in my opinion and in my experience, like, there's a few things involved. And one of the biggest one is showing remorse, right? So I'll end with this. In, in, the, in the realm of 12 step programs, when you make an amends to somebody or a group of people, you ask them, what can I do to fix this? What can I do to try to you know, remedy this situation, right? And in 12 step programs, not only do you make like personal amends to people, but you make financial amends because most drug addicts and alcoholics screw people out of money. So what you do is you, you pay them back. Some people don't even want you to pay them back, which is cool. But when I look at this situation with Tana Mojo, I'm like, there was a lot of talk when this happened and there was no follow through or action. So anyways, let me know your thoughts on this subject down in the comments below. And by the way, like I'm actually gonna be at VidCon this year. So if you see me, come say hi, let's chill. But anyways, Again, go follow me on social media at The Rewired Soul. Check out the new podcast. It'll all be linked down in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. If you would like to become a patron, get access to our monthly Q&A, some other perks and benefits like getting your name in the credits, click or tap right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.